Hey guys, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License. Katie, Lunar, y'all are insane. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I see, I understand. Y'all want Sims 2. Don't worry. Sims 2 will be the next game on Interstage Window. Okay, we're gonna do it. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, tell your nanny I said happy birthday, Bree. Oh my gosh. Hey, Kendra as well. I see you in the chat from earlier. How are you guys doing today? Oh, I just realized. <gasps> Things in the shot. Here we go. Now it's out the shot. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. <laughs> okay, Sims 2. Sims 2 for Interstage Window after we're done with View of Pinata. I hear you. That is what's happening. Okay, that's what's happening, y'all. That's what we're going to do. All right. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? How are y'all doing? Um, I've still been having like such a crazy week, but uh, but now it's stream time and all of my friends are here. Mochi! Hey, Mochi coming in and announcing, uh, announcing with the, the command. Landon! Oh, Landon, I'm so glad you're alive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Poor Landon. She's been having it so rough. But I'm glad you guys are here. Okay. All right. Um, everything looks different, y'all. I'm sure you, you notice everything looks different. The microphone's in front. The lights look different. Um, everything. Everything looks all different right now. That's because today on Artistic License, we're going to go back to doing a nail stream. You'll see also my nails look a little bit naked. They're not quite naked. We'll talk about that in a second. Talk about that in a second. But we're going to do a nail art stream today. But first... Let's talk briefly about the last episode of Spare Room that we had. So we had role-playing canon characters. And y'all, I could not believe that it took me so long to get to this video. I didn't even realize I didn't have one on this until somebody in the uh, cafe asked. And there was no such video for role-playing canon characters. And I think Jane specifically said, you know, you should definitely make that. And I was like, you're right. I should. Y'all. I've role played so many canon characters, so many, and I never made a video for it. Like, I don't know how that slipped under my radar. It's just, it's just crazy. I have such a huge passion for transformative work. You know, role play is part of that. Fan fiction is, is a part of that. And I just, I love the idea of taking something and just like breaking it down and like adjusting it to make it your own. I think that is creatively how I'm doing almost everything that I do. Almost everything that I do creatively starts with some inspiration from some other idea that I take and modify it. And to me, that's what role-playing canon stuff is is all about. Like it's all about taking something and transforming it to be, you know, better either better than it was before or just even sometimes just different to see how things go. So finally, finally, we have a video about role-playing canon characters on the channel. So that's all of my tips for role-playing those canons. If that's something that you do, if that's something that you'd like to get into that you haven't before, then this video is for you. All right, so that is yesterday's Spare Room episode. Here we go. All right, it's been a long time since we've seen this kind of camera angle, y'all. It's been a long time. <laughs> but we're going to do another nail stream. We're going to do another nail stream. We're going to cheat at free painting. So what does that mean for you guys? You're going to get all these tips. You're going to get all these tips. Plus, what design should I do on my nails? So be thinking about like what you guys think I should do for the actual design on my nails. So here's what I've done so far. Um, I Since we had the previous manicure stream where i thumper hey thumper swords okay uwu and swords all right i see your ideas um since we had the previous nail art stream where i like actually went over how i do my manicures and all of that good stuff i pre-did a bunch of things so i got got my nails all cleaned up and i got base coat on there so they're not naked you can tell they're not because look at that shine look at that shine they're so shiny that's because i already put base coat on here and what we're going to do for this cheating, for this cheating, all you need is acrylic paint. So I've got a really cheap 
acrylic paint set from um, Walgreens here. Any kind of acrylic paint is good. It doesn't really matter. And toothpicks, okay? Toothpicks. But here's what we're going to do first. First, we are going to actually paint our nails. So just to show you guys how well this works, we are going to do one hand white and one hand black. And it doesn't matter what y'all choose or how I do it, it'll show up on these, okay? It'll show up on white or black no matter what we do. So we're going to start with the white. And just as like a precursor, I'm just going to... Another thing that I want to show you all, white polishes, good white polishes. Lar, hey, I'm so glad that you're here. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's been a second since you've been in a stream. It's okay if you fall asleep, don't worry. Don't worry, sleeping is still valid during my streams. I just appreciate you being here. All right, so white polishes tend to get a little thick and goopy, especially good ones, really opaque ones. So what I'm using here is this is a nail polish thinner. I'm just going to put a few drops into here so we have nice, good, flowing white nail polish when we use it. Um, now you will see people say that you don't need this, that you can put a few drops of um, acetone or nail polish remover in there to thin out your nail polish. Do not do that, okay? Do not do that. The chemical reaction that happens from the nail polish remover will actually degrade the molecular structure of the, the lacquer. Like this is plastic, right? It's like liquid plastic. It'll, it'll make it less plastic and less, uh, and there's less of it. So don't do that to thin it out, okay? Get actual nail polish thinner. And you only need a few drops when you use it. I bought this, I think, three years ago now? A long time ago. And look at how much I've used. Like, not much, okay? Not much. So just get some nail polish thinner off of Amazon. And I'm just shaking this up so that it's nice and mixed. We're going to do one hand white and we're going to do one hand black. You used to do that with the, with the nail polish remover? Yeah, don't do it. All right, the thumbs are hard to get on the camera. I know y'all can't see this right now. But you'll be able to see it when I do the other fingers. I just have to kind of do it off the edge for the rest of the hand. You know what I'm saying? Remember, of course, we always wrap our tips. We always wrap our tips. Y'all remember from last time. Yeah, Katie, so when you used to do that, it probably kind of sort of worked, but not really. Like, it would work briefly, but then if you kept doing it, your polish would eventually be totally ruined. So I don't recommend doing that. Use the use actual thinner. The actual thinner is going to have inside of it all of those things that evaporate from the nail polish, because when the nail polish gets thick and goopy like that, What's really happening is that some of the ingredients are evaporating and others are not. So you want to add back in some of those ingredients that tend to evaporate. How do the levels sound, by the way, when I'm leaned forward like that? Actually, this actually doing the painting. Is my voice too quiet or is it still sound okay? Sailor Scouts on the white hand, though. So we could do like the planet symbols. I mean, I'm going to show you all how to cheat so that you can paint stuff, even if you're not good at it, which you'll see I'm not. I'll probably make a lot of mistakes and I'll show you all how to fix those. But, um, you know, I'm not I'm not a visual artist. I still probably can't do like a portrait, no matter how no matter how good these tips are. I probably still can't do that level good. Color bow or planet symbol. Yeah, we can definitely do something like that. Or can. The showing up on. I feel like be framed better. Me, you do this. Drag this up. 
Okay, I feel like y'all can see it better. I know that means you can't, oops, I know that means you can't really see the paints, but that's okay. So you probably can't, you can sort of tell on camera, like it's not that opaque yet. So we're definitely gonna do another coat, but this white is pretty opaque. Like you can't see too many gaps on camera. Why do you turn the nail over? Is that a trick for chipping or like nail thickness? That is a tip for chipping. That is a tip for chipping. So that makes sure that your nail polish is gonna stay on. Also, I use a peel off base coat. So what that means is that when I'm done with a manicure, I can just be like, and I don't have to use nearly as much acetone on my fingers. Um, if you go back and watch my old manicure stream, uh, Katie, you can find like a much more detailed explanation of what I'm saying. And that is why we wrap the tips. Helps make your manicure last longer. It helps make sure that the peel off base coat that I use actually stays on the nail as opposed to just pops off on its own, which it'll eventually do anyway, but you want it to last as long as it can. So we always wrap the tips. Phone's dying. Oh no, Jane. Go get the laptop. Or plug in your phone. I guess that would work too. This black here is very opaque as well. So it actually gets kind of goopy sometimes too and I have to put the thinner in it but it's not too bad right now so I'm not going to add any to it the white though it's been a long time since I've opened it so I knew it was going to be like that <laughs> yep so I see your question now Mochi sorry I hadn't looked up enough to see it your tips work on short nails so a little bit of yes a little bit of no these free painting tips that we're going to go through today yes they absolutely do um, the only thing when it comes to short nails is that if you go back to that original stream that I did, the peel off base coat does not work as well on short nails, unfortunately. It might still work for your nail chemistry, like you can try it, but I feel like it works better if you have longer nails because if you have these short nails and you, you can't really wrap the tips like this. So essentially what I do with that peel off base coat is I, I don't wrap the tip, right? So it's just in on the nail, it's not around the edge. And then I wrap the other layers around the edge to kind of like hold it on. But when you have really short nails, you don't really have much of an edge to wrap. I mean, you can still do some of that, but it's just not the same, right? It's just not the same. Didn't get enough polish on my brush there. There we go. So yes and no, like yes and no. I'm not a professional nail person. I've learned everything that I know about nails from YouTube and I know my nails really well. So will this work for your nails? I don't know because everybody's body chemistry is different. So it might, um, it might not. But these free painting tips that we're gonna do today are kind of outside of that. They're really more, they really doesn't matter. You'll see when we get there. Let's see when we get there. Use my black so much, it's like so low. Why I keep like running out on the nail. There's just not very much in the bottle. <laughs> I need to buy some more black, I think. It is a well-loved color. Okay. So we are going to just let that dry for a second. Um, while it does, let's talk about some updates. So, y'all, we have new emotes on the channel. I'm sure some of you guys noticed already, but if you click down in the emotes, there's some new ones in there for subscribers, and there's one for several of the bits levels now too. And um, if you scroll all the way down to the about section, you'll see a little graphic that I made that's got the emotes and what levels those are. 
So if you subscribe, you'll get access to those at whatever tier it says. Or if you donate bits, you'll get access as you donate more of those bits. And then the other thing in regards to those um, emotes is that you can use your channel points to unlock them, like, but it only unlocks them for that particular stream. And then you have to like re-unlock them next stream. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Because I think I've tested that and that's what I've found with it. But yeah, we've got like so many now. We've got so many, especially from that hype train the other day that we had a couple of streams ago where I got all the way up to like 30 something subscribers at once or something crazy like that. So we unlocked a whole bunch. There is one more level of emote that we can unlock for subscribers. So what I mean by that is like, how many subscribers I have at the same time. So if I can get to where I have 50 subscribers at the same time, then we'll unlock one more slot. And I'm pretty sure the way that it works for affiliates like I am is that's basically all the emotes we can unlock ex except for like the bits emotes. Um, and the only way we can really get more is to get up to a uh, partner level, which is like cr crazy. Like to get to partner level, you have to like, have I think 75 concurrent viewers or something ridiculous like that like I've never even gotten close to that yeah Laura you found one of them you found one of them yeah um so so we're about to we're about to max out on those emotes and then the only ones we'll be able to unlock are the bit more bit emotes if we want to we'll have all the subscriber ones so that'll be really nice yeah <laughs> All right, we're gonna do another coat of the white. Now I've personally never found a white polish that you can just do one coat and be totally done with it. Supposedly um, the Hollow Taco one coat white is like that, but I don't know, I don't have it. We're just gonna do two coats. And I like to do two coats kind of to smooth it out anyways. Thumbs are so much bigger than all the other nails. <laughs> Why are they like that? Hello, GL. Go. Oh, thank you so much. Colette, are you new to the stream? I don't think I've seen you here before. We're cheating at free painting today. So everybody gets to see how bad I am at free painting, and I'll show you my tips to make it look not so awful. I think you might have popped in once before, but I didn't have time to stay and say hello. Oh, okay. Well, happy to have you here either way. Everybody is welcome to come hang out with me on the stream. It's nice to have a break sometimes from our main thing. We've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy uh, 10 on our Thursday streams, but to take a break sometimes but we will get back to that next week it's gonna be real dramatic when we get back well hello what do you two know each other jane is this one of your friends i feel like i flooded the cuticle ever so slightly i'm just gonna fix that No, but it's always nice to make new friends. Aw, I agree. It is always nice to make new friends. I just felt like that was a little close to the cuticle there. Well, I didn't look any different to you guys on stream. Oh, thank you for the follow, Colette. Happy to have you here. We stream on Thursdays and on Saturdays. All right. Give that a chance to dry as well. So updates on my life situation while that dries. Um, I stopped having COVID symptoms a couple days ago. I haven't had anything else. The congestion is finally starting to really clear up, but I can't tell if that was COVID related or just because we've had like a ridiculous amount of pollen here. I don't know what it's like where you guys are living, but like my car is black, but right now it's green. <laughs> if you go stand outside, like, and you're in like a sunbeam, you can see the pollen collecting in the air. Like it's ridiculous. Hip lingo flooding the cuticle. 
<laughs> yeah, that's right, Katie. That's the hip lingo. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I don't know if it's like the pollen that was making me so congested or if it was the COVID, I don't know, but I'm finally starting to feel like I'm coming out of that. Like it's been ridiculous. It's been ridiculous at how much that that's happened. All right. What is flooding the cuticle? Okay. So it's whenever you, okay, put it up by the camera. There we go. So you can see like there's a little bit, come on, focus. This is a crappy camera, so I don't, it might not autofocus. I'm trying to like get close enough where you can see it. Well, come on, autofocus. Can't make it focus, y'all, I'm sorry. Well, anyway, there's a gap. Like you can't see it. It's not focusing, so you can't see it, but there's a gap. There's a gap between where the paint is and where like my actual skin is. And if you flood the cuticle, basically you're going all the way up instead of leaving a little bit of a gap. And you want to leave a little bit of a gap because that's what's going to make the polish stick. The polish does not stick to your skin. It does not stick to your cuticle. It only sticks to the nail and to base coat. So you never want the polish to be like on your skin or, or in your cuticle. Yeah. Yeah. And then as far as my roommate goes, we keep getting the same updates, which is basically like that he's going to be able to talk to people tomorrow. Like every day they're saying he's getting better. He's going to talk to people tomorrow. So I don't really know what's going on there. I still haven't spoken to him. I'm still pretty worried about him, but he does seem to be getting better um, as far as his stuff is going, but still in the hospital, unfortunately, today. And still haven't spoken to him. So a little bit sad about that, but that is what it is. Okay, so what we're going to do next is, I know we haven't made any designs yet, but we're actually going to put on our top coat. This is part of the secret, okay? So part of the secret for the free handing and cheating at it is to do your whole mani with your top coat and your color and all of that stuff first you want to have a complete finished mani before you start working on your design i know that sounds counterintuitive and if you're actually good at this stuff you don't have to do all this you don't have to paint with acrylic paint you don't have to finish your mani but i am not i am probably going to make mistakes so this is going to help me fix mistakes that i'm making And you definitely, definitely want to wrap the tip when you're doing this step, because this is what's like sealing everything in, right? This is what makes your manicure actually last. And I did this one, the, this hand first, because we'd only did one coat of the black. And I just wanted to give the white hand a little bit longer. Dang it. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you, Katie. Thank you, Katie, for the baby shark. I just jacked it up, y'all. I got a little bit of, I got a little bit of black on there. Okay, that's okay. We're going to fix it. First, let's wipe this off to make sure we don't have anything. Okay. You didn't hear Baby Shark Thumper? Did y'all also not hear it? You just saw it and you didn't hear it? Oh, no. Oh, no. What about... Hang on. That's not good. Hang on. I'm 
making some adjustments. Okay, I'm going to play it again. Did y'all hear it that time? Did it come through? No! I have no idea why it's not coming through, y'all. I have no idea. I'm so sorry. Katie, you paid bits for that. That's not right. It was jacked up. Did that one play? I bet it didn't. <sighs> yeah, none of them. Let me do this. Okay. I refreshed the browser source. I'm going to try playing it again. Did it play that time? No. Oh my god, y'all. I have no idea. I have no idea what's happening. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely jacked up. But I have no idea how to fix it. Um, hang on. Did y'all hear the sound when Colette followed? Did it play that sound? Yes, so y'all heard that sound, but you're not hearing the sound alerts. Okay. Hmm. I'm just trying to think about what else I can look at. Because I can hear it, but it's not playing for you guys. Uh, thank you for the howl, Lunar, but I bet it didn't it didn't come through and y'all did not hear it. Yeah, it's not working. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm gonna let the thumb dry just a little bit more before I put top coat on it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see me go black for just a second. I'm gonna go mess with the alerts themselves. I'll be right back.
Yeah, I'm sorry. I have no idea, y'all. It's not working. It's just straight up not working. It says there's no sound, even though, like, I, it's in there. It's correct. But there's no sound. <laughs> I don't know. It's so weird. Sorry, I know I shouldn't keep fiddling with it. And I should just let it go, but... Let it go. <gasps> I cannot let it go. Aha! Uh -huh. It worked that time, didn't it? There. Okay. Hang on. Let me make it not so massive real quick. Okay. Okay. Let's replay all those ones that we missed now. Game! <laughs> okay. It's cool, like sound alerts, you know, traditionally breaks on my stream. But it's been a long time since it, it totally, completely broke like that. It was probably due. It was probably due for just totally and completely breaking. Okay. So we've got top coat on everything. We're going to let that dry really nice and hard, y'all. We're going to let that dry real good before we do any painting. <laughs> All right, and while we do that, let me pull up some reference pictures. Y'all said you wanted, okay, so we want, on the white hand, we want the planet symbols for the, the Sailor Scouts, and then we want swords on the black hand, right? It's a lot of base. Hey, welcome from Spain, Alvaru. How's it going? All right. All right, I'm looking up Sailor Moon planet symbols so I can see like what colors each of them should be. And reference pictures going. All right, we're gonna do the the main ones, I think. Right, like we'll do Sailor we'll do a Sailor Moon on the thumb, and then we'll do Mercury. Mars, Jupiter, and Venus. Yeah. Mercury, Mars. Yeah. Mercury. No, we'll go Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Artwork. That's right. Okay. Let's do this too. Let's look up. I know there's some sword emojis. Try to do one of those. Okay, I've got my reference pictures up, y'all, on my computer in front of me. So we're definitely going to need some yellow for Sailor Moon. I'm going to pull up my yellow. You do Mercury, Venus, Moon, Mars, Jupiter, you'll have them in order from distance to the sun. That's true. Do we want to do it that way? Like, if I hold my hand like this, then I'll have them in the order. We can do that. We can definitely do that. About these colors. This would be Mercury. Oh, start from the pinky. Palmistry mounts. I don't know anything about palmistry. Oh, we can fit we can fit planet symbols in all the spaces. It's no big deal. If, if pinky okay, so pinky is Mercury. Then Venus is the ring finger, so that would make, I'd do it orange here. Saturn is the middle, Jupiter is the pointer. 
Oh, no, I want to do like the main five scouts, I think. So let's do. Yeah, Saturn's pretty cool for sure. So we'll do Moon, Mercury, Mars, Venus, Jupiter. I think we'll do. Yeah, we'll do the like this green for Jupiter, not for a screen. We'll do it like that with their symbols. You sure do have to respect a bitch with a glaive. That's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. So it's going to take a second to get nice and nice and hard dried. Oh, no, there's a hair. Somehow a hair got stuck in one. Can I still get it out? Might be too late. It's like really stuck in there, y'all. <laughs> I might just have to paint over it. Yeah. Stuck in there. Y'all probably can't even see it on camera. Like, it's on this finger. But it doesn't even show up on the camera. You can't even see it. Oh, that's so annoying. Must have, like, just fallen in there. But it's all totally stuck in there. None of it's, like, sticking up to where I can grab it. Oh, well. Yeah, we're just going to cover it with the nail art. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> It's fine. We'll just cover it up. <sighs> I think it might actually be a human hair. It's short. I can't really tell. I can't really tell, but it's stuck in there. It's stuck in there pretty good. And this is how you cheat the secret to all of it. <laughs> no, you want to avoid the hairs. You don't want hairs stuck in the nails. I normally don't have this problem, but doing it on stream, there's a lot more stuff to look at. So admittedly, I'm not paying the same level of like direct attention that I would be if I was just concentrating on doing the nails. You know what I mean? You shout the way, paint. <laughs> appropriate, Thumper, appropriate. <laughs> All right. Let's get some paint on here. This is brand new. These are brand new paints that I just bought, so they might suck. We'll find out. Let's get some yellow. We don't need much for nail art, just a tiny, tiny bit. Get that yellow. So this is the cheat, right? This is the cheat. Because I put that top coat on there, and because we're gonna use acrylic paint, and not nail polish to actually paint on there. What that means is one, the acrylic paint is going to be super, super opaque. So we don't have to worry about it showing up. When you use polish, come on, press in, there we go. When you use polish to paint, sometimes some polishes are more opaque than others. It can be a struggle to paint on top of like black, for example. Like if I wanted to paint white on top of black and I try to do that with polish, like you can't, you can't really. Like the black just shows through so hard. But that is not the case when we're doing acrylic paints. So then we have the top coat underneath those acrylic paints because if we screw up, then we can very easily get the acrylic paint off. All we have to do is wait for it to dry, and then we can scrape it off with a toothpick. So any mistakes I make, I will show you guys how to do that. But what we're going to do first is the design. So let's do like, we're going to do a Sailor Moon style crescent moon. No, I'm going to hold my finger like this. Okay, so we're down in the bottom of the screen. I know. And I'm going to do it upside down so that it looks right anyone else looking at my nails not that anyone's looking at my nails because we're basically still staying home we've not been vaccinated yet or anything like that but we still basically stay home all the time and i hope you guys are doing similar if you've not been vaccinated or only leaving the house when you have to okay so we've got our moon symbol on our thumb. I think I want to do it that way. And you can see this is very opaque. You can basically see that pretty well. 
looks like a little moon. Now, my edges aren't super even, but don't worry, we're going to fix that. Oh, I need a little bit of water so I can rinse off my brush in between. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just going to get a little dish of water. You work from home. Yeah, I work from home too, Colette, so I really don't have to like worry about it so much. It's pretty easy to, to quarantine and stay home when you work from home all That's the time. What she you said. Know? <gasps> Thank you for the bits, Katie. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's what she said. That's right. That is what she said. Okay. All right. Next color. We're going to do the Mercury symbol. It looks like Sailor Moon style. They typically draw it with a heart and then the cross at the bottom. So instead of a circle, we're going to do, do it as a heart. You have to go to the lab every other week for making one of the EUA approved COVID treatments. So, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. That's awesome, Thumper. The great, a great service that you're doing to the world at Shell's lab. It's hard to draw upside down. Don't know why. Maybe someone who's actually an artist can explain why this feels difficult to draw it upside down. we go another tip that I've definitely heard for this and I, I didn't really do it today is you can thin out your acrylic paints to make them easier to paint on with a little bit of water just by mixing them with a little bit of water before you start painting some acrylic paint is really thick I didn't do that oh, dang it so I messed that up the line is not super clean on this side, so I'm going to fix that with a toothpick. Rotate your re reference image upside down. Whoa! Big brain idea there, Thumper. Wow. That is so genius. <laughs> I really didn't think of that. Uh, uh, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should actually download the picture and like open it in an image program so I can do that. That sounds, I might have to do that for the sword because that's a little bit more complicated when we do that one. Um, one other thing that I definitely wanted to make sure that I told you guys today, I'm probably going to make like an actual announcement for this so that my patrons can know as well. I know some of you guys are patrons, but some of my patrons are not in here and I want them all to know. Um, we are probably... We are, well, definitely, it's happening at this point. I'm going to be putting um, Spare Room on just a short hiatus. So that's the Wednesday show. So we are going to still have another episode this month that's going up. But I think that I'm going to take a little two-week hiatus after that from the Spare Room episodes. Um, just because of everything that's been going on, you know, with my COVID symptoms, I've been having so much congestion that I just really haven't had a chance to film. So, like... I've had scripts written that I just I just cannot film because I just don't feel like my voice is good enough for that. Like, I feel like it's fine for a stream because people that's live. Dang it. I'm really messing this one up. That's OK. Well, lots to fix. Um, So people don't expect like that pristine quality. But like if I'm going to take the opportunity to like refilm things and edit them and like do lots of takes and things like that, I feel like the quality should be way better, like of my voice and of the way that I explain things, you know, because it's scripted like it should be. That's what you would expect. So 
Um, probably gonna have a two-week break of spare room, and it'll come back for the second two weeks of what's next month, April. So those first two weeks of April, not gonna have a spare room episode go up, but the second two weeks of April, we will still have a spare room episode go up. Oh, open it on your phone so you can angle it and resize it easy. Oh, that is smart. That is smart, Thumper. How much stuff do you draw that you have all those tips? Yeah, see, this one looks like really bad and wopsided. We're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. But yeah, I just don't see myself having time where I can find time to, like, film and edit the episodes for next month in, um, in like a, without like, you know, destroying myself. So we're just going to not, we're just going to take a two week hiatus due to my getting COVID and my roommate getting COVID and all of the craziness that's resulted from that. Jane, you're so cute. What are you talking about? Done a decent bit of art for embroidery. They turn my fabric all kinds of ways to get the design in. Oh, that is definitely true for embroidery. It's definitely true for embroidery. <clears throat> okay, so then this one. Two. Arrow goes. R. We have. The thumper, if you if you do embroidery and drawing, then you probably could like really do some cool, really cool nail art if you wanted to. I don't think the skills are super different, especially with embroidery is also very tiny designs. And that's a lot of nail art as well. It's about how do you express your design in such a small space. There's Mars. You have awful nails, though. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's too cool. You embroidered your face mask. Oh, I love it. You're a compulsive peeler. I was too, my friend. I was too. I would bite my nails and pick at them and peel them. I don't know what it was that made me stop, but like, Somewhere like age 27, I don't know. I was just like, it's time to be done with this. And I just stopped. You know, when you're like, when you have like a really bad habit or an addiction or something like this, if you've ever had that situation, this is like what this is kind of what it feels like. You just, just one day you just really for real want to quit. And I know that sounds like crazy and weird, but if you've ever been through it yourself, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. There are you there are times that you like want to quit and you you really do want to do it, but like you just can't commit. You know, you don't feel it for real. And then when you do for real quit, it's just it's just different. You know, you feel it different. There's a curly Q here. Yeah. There we go. We wanted fun face masks, but they were expensive and not what I wanted exactly. Yeah, I feel that. I've looked at a lot of that for face masks. I dumped caffeine in freshman year because I was so mad at not getting one beverage. It literally ruined my whole day. The withdrawal was bad. Oh my God. Caffeine is a horrible one. Um, more power to you there. I cannot drop caffeine. Um, I have dropped soda, which helps because there's no, you know, cause then I'm not getting all the sugar, but I still drink like regular coffee in the mornings and, um, I can't stop. Like I feel, I feel weird if I don't have one coffee Now I'm not like a heavy coffee drinker, you know, but I have to have at least one or like my day just isn't just, it's not right. You know, thank you for lurking Kendra. Appreciate you. Appreciate you still hanging out. Even though you got to go do something. 
All right. So there's all the designs. There's lots of mistakes, but we're going to fix those next. And then we'll top coat it so that it's like, you know, it's good. So we're going to even this moon out just a little bit. The other thing with acrylic that might not be coming through on the camera is that it looks really bad and lumpy compared to polish. Don't worry. When we put top coat over it, you're not going to be able to tell any different. The mercury one's actually pretty good. I don't feel like I need to clean up these lines too much. Just a little bit right here. Clean this up. This one definitely needs some cleanup. This whole little section here has got to go. And you can see, since it's dried acrylic, which dries like super fast, I can just kind of like gently scrape and it comes off. You can end up with much cleaner lines this way, even if you can't really draw. Now it really looks much more like a heart on the Venus one because I cleaned that up quite a bit. A no. little bit tighter, so I'm going to use a brush with just a little bit of acetone on it. Um, now you can end up with too much and eat away at the top coat. I'm going to try to be careful to not do that. There we go. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Exactly like a scratch off, Katie. That's exactly what I'm doing. I do. In retrospect, after my diagnosis, what I was doing was trying to self-medicate ADHD symptoms. Oh, but because the unreliability and difficult dosing, it wasn't manageable long term for me. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot, a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense, Thumper. Yeah. Have you ever, if you ever been through something like that, it's like, you know, when you decide to quit for real versus all the other times you decided to quit, <laughs> it just is different. You know, it feels different. So at some point, age 27, after the myriad of attempts of quitting biting my nails, I finally for real quit biting my nails. And it was just like so freeing. And then, you know, I had a few years of not biting. If y'all if, if y'all know the, the deep care and Terry Laurie, y'all probably already know this, but I had a few years of not biting them. And then I had several years of like practicing painting my nails until I got decent at it. Okay, and you can, in extreme cases, just scrape your whole design off if you decide you hate it. Instead of having to completely start over, you can do that. But there we go. We've got the, we've got the Sailor Scout designs on each of our nails. Now we're just going to wait just a few minutes before we put the top coat on there, and then we'll do the other hand. So what I think I'm going to do is for, since we're not going to have, since we're going to have two weeks of no spare room episodes going up, what I think I'm going to do is post a super cut of some of the streams where I talk about my process for like creating and editing videos. Jupiter is such a hottie, a small orange line inside the moon. Sure, might screw it up. But yeah, you're right, Thumper, because the, against the white, the yellow doesn't show up so well, right? Excuse me. Not blended very well because they're acrylics, but <laughs> yeah, that kind of works. Oh, I shouldn't have added water. Shouldn't have added water. Mistakes. That's okay. We can scrape it off. 
Oh, it's still wet. Wet. The one thing with acrylics is they dry super fast. So that is kind of like a benefit and a curse a little bit to using acrylics. You tip. Sort of Gideon in the ninth today, and Gideon is also a tall jock. Girlfriend, I desperately need. What is. I don't understand the words in these sentences. Gideon the Ninth, is that an anime? There we go. There we go, that's cleaned up. Gideon the Ninth is a book series. Oh, it's a book series. Okay, okay. I'm with you now. There we go. Now it pops out a little bit more. Well, clearly we need to, Katie. I mean, if your husband likes it and Thumper likes it, probably good. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking, because those streams are pretty short. Those three streams are pretty short, and they're all kind of like around one topic. So I think I'm going to post a super cut of that. And that's going to be what goes up since y'all aren't going to get an episode of Spare Room. Just have not had time to film and edit. I've got, I, I get, and it makes me so sad because like I, I do all the research, right? And the scripts are written and they're like ready to go. And then I just like keep waiting for my energy to be, to be right. Or like my voice to sound right. You know what I mean? But like it keeps not, it keeps being congested or like my energy is too low to film or, you know, all sorts of things like that. Now, because this is acrylic and it dries so fast, you don't have to be quite as careful about painting over your design and like not giving it streaks. However, you still can end up with streaks accidentally. So if this is something that's happened to you before or you're nervous about it, then just make sure you wait until it dries and then just float the brush over your nail. Like don't let the actual bristles touch the nail. You just float it over and that's going to make your top coat really thick but that is okay we like a nice thick glossy top coat helps seal everything in hey y'all i'm karen terry and today we're talking about disappointments <gasps> it's true oh my god that's how i felt that's how i felt like not being able to like i sit there and i look at the scripts and i'm like when am i gonna get to these i don't know like, I don't feel right. I'm, like, way too low energy, so the footage isn't going to be good. When I go back and look at it to edit it, I'm going to be un upset with it. Or my voice doesn't sound right, so when I go back to edit the footage, I'm going to be upset with it. So, like, then I'm like, okay, I'll just wait another day. And then every day, there's just been something. You know, there's been something. My energy has been low because of fatigue, or my voice has sounded bad because of congestion, or there's been like some negative news in regards to Jeff. And so like my spirits are just not right. You know what I mean? So then I just, then I just don't do it. There we go. Now our top coat's on. We've got our beautiful design. So even if you're not very good at painting, free painting on your nails, you can do this and you can still have some cute designs. Now, does that mean you're going to put get like Starry Night on your nails if you're not an artist? Probably not. Like these tips aren't going to do that for you. <laughs> They're not going to do that for you. But cute, simple little designs you can absolutely accomplish by doing it this way. So we're going to we're going to just let this dry for a minute because I don't want to mess it up while the top coat dries. Um, then we're going to do the other hand but I don't want the top coat to get messed up. So we're just gonna wait a second. Being Karen was a swear? What? But it blocked out the three words after he? What are you talking about? I'm like scrolling back up through the chat trying to figure out what you're talking about.
Yeah, what I see is, hey, y'all, I'm Karen Terry. But y'all can't see that? That's so weird. That's so weird. Oh, that's why. That's why then, Katie, you have Twitch in safe mode. It doesn't say that it's blocked for me. Like, I don't... Usually if, like, a message is blocked, I can see it and, like, make a click something to get it out of that blocked mod mode. But I don't see that. So yeah, it must be your safe mode. Okay, so I know we want to do swords on the other hand, but y'all, what other, what other stuff do we want to do? Because we have five fingers. We have five fingers, so I can do swords, like, on one finger. But what else should I do? I'm going to do swords. I definitely want... Sword, axe, arrow, mace, hammer. Ooh, okay. All kinds of weapons. I'm gonna do, bring it some white, black, pull up my. Let's put these primary colors away. Okay, we're gonna need to make some gray for sure. I don't have any, so that's to get some mixing going on. Moon Prism Power or Medieval Weaponry. Oh, well, thank you so much, Colette, for joining us. I hope you have fun with whatever other activities you're doing today. And now I'll hopefully see you later. You're probably going to want some brown. All right, so there's two browns that we have. <gasps> Please do, Thumper. Please do share your bizarrely funny story. I feel like these streams are the best best time for that especially for you because i know you're like super busy during the day but then you can be here in the evening i'm just i'm just cleaning up underneath here like some of the top coat likes to seep in there so i like to clean that up it's on my skin it'll come off eventually on its own but i'm just rushing the process Okay, so we're going to start with our sword, I think. Got some gray. Go. A little bit dark to go on the black. I think I'm going to add some more white. I went to a welding shop today because my muffler had holes in it. Oh no. Um, so my little Subaru Impreza was writing sound checks in its itty engine could not cash. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounding like some douche canoe sports car <laughs> driven by someone that wants everyone to look at their special big boy wallet. Well, you know, Thumper, you don't need everyone to look. You know you have a special big boy wallet. 
It just comes with the territory of being a badass. Okay, there we go. That's a good gray. That's a good sword. Okay. We're going to do something kind of like the crossed swords emoji. Make it pretty simple. And when I got there, the only guy who spoke English got me cashed out, told me, and you can grab a jar of Spago some Alfredo on your way out if you want. Out of the car place? <laughs> and I thought as I sat in their office booting up my work laptop, oh, some homemade pasta sauce sounds cool. And I didn't think more on it. Yeah, that's a little weird. <laughs> We're going to use the phone trick that Thumper just taught me. I'm going to bring up the swords emoji on my phone. Until I went out to the garage to check things out, and I turn around and I see that there are seven pallets of Ragu Alfredo pasta sauce. What? What? Seven? Seven pallets of pasta sauce at a car place. I, I am very intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Okay, y'all, we're crossing the streams, crossing the swords. Okay, I have a placed the image into the cast members chat if you want to show people at some point. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll bring that up. We'll bring that up later in the stream. What in the hell? How? How did they have... <laughs> oh my god. Katie. Katie, you are the best addition to the stream. I swear to god. <laughs> you are hitting it just right with the sound alerts. Beautiful. Perfect. Could not ask for better. You know, Thumper, something else you have to share with us that I just thought about? Now that we know you do embroidery, you have to share some of your work. You have to share some of the embroidery with us. We have to see it. They had seven pallets of Ragu Alfredo pasta sauce in a welding shop. Yeah, I don't... <sighs> I don't understand. I don't understand why they have it, but I'm very glad they did and they could offer you some. I mean, free pasta sauce is free pasta sauce. You know what I'm saying? All right, these swords have little, little hilt thingies on the bottom, whatever those are called. I know I'm a bad role player. I don't know... Sword parts, I have to Google it every time. If we write about medieval stuff, I have to Google it. I don't know what to say. Like parts of the sword, I don't know. All right, here we go. Some crossed swords. Those look pretty good. They show up good. 
up good. Okay. Let me go look at this picture. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all. What is this? What? What is this? What? What? What is happening? Where? Why? How? So many questions. So many questions. I don't understand. I don't understand. This is this is very confusing. Thumper, what? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't understand. <laughs> Levi also sent me something that he wants me to share with you guys. Um I'll share that with y'all later because I think it's a video. So I don't know. I don't know if. Uh, sorry. Um, I don't know if uh, if Twitch or YouTube's going to have struggles with that. So I'll put it at the end. telling him that I told you guys I'm going to show you in a bit. Okay. Let's also look at this. Oh, this is cool. A face mask for his birthday. Oh, this is neat. So did you just start embroidering then Thumper? Is this like a new project for you? Is this like a new thing? <laughs> okay sorry <laughs> I'm just telling him just responding to him real quick <gasps> the first face mask was a lot of work yeah I mean I bet it's a lot of work when you when it's like you're you're just starting to embroider I've never I, I've never really done it before I've done some cross stitch as a child I did some cross stitches because my mom was big into cross stitch but um but I've never embroidered anything okay we're going to do a bow and arrow next. I'm just getting a little, getting a little reference picture up here. Okay. All right. A bow and arrow. I'm going to have some brown that goes right here got like a little bows out a little bit like this in line here in line here. This doesn't look much like a bow and arrow, but we're trying. And that's what matters, y'all. We're, we're making an attempt. We're making an attempt. <laughs> it's a satin stitch just to get solid blocks of color, which require a lot of precision to make this the right length and a lot of stitches. Yeah, you can't even tell. Like, Thumper, like, you can't even see gaps in that. It looks really good. I don't know anything about embroidery, but, like, it doesn't, it, the way, the way that it looks in that picture is, like, like, it would be easy, which means it must be really stupidly difficult. You know, if, if art, if any kind of art is, uh, is to be understood. <laughs> if it looks like not a big deal and really, really plain and simple, 
then it probably was like hard as fuck to do. Okay, I'm gonna draw the bowstring down like that. There's our bow, and then we're gonna put some arrows over it. It was finicky more than difficult, like it needs more, it needs patience and determination more than skill. I mean, I feel like a lot of art is like that. A lot of art is like that. I de that's what a lot of times why I say like the, the nail stuff that I do, like painting my nails, it's not hard, y'all. It's not hard, it's just muscle memory. Like, y'all saw me put like the coats of the white and black on and things like that without like a huge amount of issue. And that's just because I've practiced like, a lot you know when I was first doing this it looked like garbage like really really hot garbage um but now I can do it relatively easily without a lot of fuss and it looks decent so people that want to get good at some kind of art you just really have to be persistent with it and keep going don't give up How does that look? That looks like a that looks like a bow and arrow, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. Back when I used to do um do a little bit of the cross stitch, that's really what it was. Because for cross stitch, you're mostly like following patterns and things. So what that means is that it's really just about patience. It's really just about patience and keeping going to finish a piece. But my mom was like crazy with the amount of cross stitch that she did. Um, she, we had it all over the house, like just tons of them, tons and tons and tons of them. And they were awesome. She was really good at it. Okay, let's do this mace. All right, so we're going to start with some dark brown down here this part of the nail a little bit like that well as you move farther with the embroidery and get and get more and more of it under your belt remember you'll have to keep us updated so that we can see your progress do the lighter brown there I think I'm gonna go back on the darker brown and make it a little bit thicker in the light brown It looks a little bit more like a handle. There we go. And we'll put the mace on top for this one. What other weapons did we say? So I've got now swords. I've got a bow and arrow. We're doing a mace. What was some of the other medieval weaponry in that list? I feel like there was more, but now I'm like trying to remember what the other ones were. Okay, we're going to do a circle, and let's give it some spikies. Yeah. Looks a little bit more like a morning star than a mace. That's okay. We'll just say it's a morning star. An axe, that's right. Oh, you have my axe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we we'll do an axe for sure. Here we go. There's a mace. Mr. Jane says spear. Oh, do we want to go with a spear or a scythe? I don't know. Scythe sounds like really cool. Mr. Jane, you might be getting overruled. I think I'm like feeling really drawn to the scythe. I'm 
Here, let me get a picture of an axe. <laughs> wow, Jane. Wow. That's your husband. How dare you say such a thing? I'm sure, I'm sure that Mr. Jane does his best. Alright, so here's the top of our axe. Oh, you can do a sexy Esmeralda pull spin with them. That's a good point, Thumper. Thorn spears are where it's at. Bree, hey! How's it going? What's a thorn spear? I've no idea. I've never heard of this. Okay, there's our axe. They wield them. Oh. So what, it's like a D&D &D thing? <gasps> oh, Thumper. <laughs> Crack me up. And our last one is a scythe. Really just going to end up looking like a much longer axe on the nail, I think. That's okay. Do a long blade. That. Ah, uh, thank you, Katie. I'm really happy with how the bow looks, too. I think the bow actually looks really good. Okay. There we go. All right. So there we go. We've got our sailor planet symbols hand and our medieval weaponry hand. How appropriate. <laughs> Those two things go together. I feel like they do for us anyway. <gasps> so now you can put your middle finger up at the preps. That's right. Yeah, preps. Taste my Morningstar mace finger. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna dry pretty quick and then we're gonna put a top coat on it. Your preps are your left hand. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So these are these are the preps here. These are the preps. And these are the goths. It's pretty accurate. Inky's not quite dry yet, so I'm trying to blow on it to speed things up. We're just going to float over our top coat. The top coat makes all the lumpy bumpies of the acrylic paint just go away so no one can tell that it actually is not smooth at all. No one's going to get their face up in your nails anyway. No one's even going to see them as close as what you guys are seeing right now. How far are we on Pokemon? Oh, we're getting pretty far. We're getting pretty far. Um, you will see in just a little bit 
We're getting close to Pokemon time. We've got some more good ones this time too, Jane. And we've got good ones every time, but yeah. Good ones this time. For sure. Going to float it over. Don't want the brush to touch the nail. I don't want to accidentally smear any of our hard work that we did today. Okay. So there we go. We've got... As Thumper so correctly pointed out, our goths here on this hand, and then our preps on this hand. Stuck my finger in it just a little bit. I'm just trying to fix that right now. Let me repaint. Let me redo the top coat over the pinky. Because I stuck my ring finger in it. Fix that up. Nobody will ever know. The great thing about nail art is it is 90% just for you. Because no one's going to get that close up to your nails anyway to ever see it. So it's really just for you to enjoy. So that when you're, you're typing away, you can look down and be like, Oh, my fingers are beautiful. <laughs> So there we go. Okay. So that's how you cheat at free painting. So just to recap what you need to know. First is go ahead and do your mani, whatever color it is that you're going to do it. And then when you paint on top of it, don't use nail polish. Use instead acrylic paint. The reason why we use acrylic paint is a twofold. One, it is very fast drying. So less chance of smearing, less chance of jacking it up. And then the second thing with acrylic paint is because you put that acrylic paint over your top coat, you can just scrape it off with a toothpick if you make a mistake. So I had to clean up, you know, a whole bunch of the lines, especially on the Venus finger here and on mercury on the inside of those. But you can just scrape it off with a toothpick. If you do that, you don't have to worry about like redoing your whole manicure because you messed up the design on top. Because that's like, that's the awful thing, right? If you're trying to do nail art, complicated freehand nail art, and you're still practicing and you're still learning, then it can be a pain in the butt if you make a mistake and have to take all of the nail polish off of the finger and start all over from the base coat and the mani and everything. And that's such a huge time sink when you're doing this sort of thing. So that's how you do it. Now you too can do, you know, relatively simple designs without having to worry about spending, you know, a ridiculous, stupid amount of hours. You can do it, you know, in a, in a relatively quick, I mean, it's still probably like two hours of manicure to even draw little simple designs, a still pretty long manicure, but it's not going to be like forever and ever and you're kind of having to constantly redo everything. All right, let's go see, let's go see this thing that Levi sent me. The trailer. Oh, 
let's watch this trailer. This looks like this looks good. Um, definitely looks like some some Karen nonsense. Uh, <laughs> it has Rebecca Black in it, y'all. It has Rebecca Black in it. So let me just open this up. Watch what I missed and figure out how to master the hand I'm not dominant with. Oh, free. It doesn't matter because you can just scrape it off. You can just scrape it off with a toothpick if you do it this way. But yeah, don't worry. VODs will be up so you can rewatch if you want to. All right. You're going to have to make Jeremy remixes to not get copyright striked. I don't know. Maybe. It's just a trailer. It's just a trailer. Hopefully they'll let us watch it. Anyway. Trailer for my dark comedy film, OK Google, starring Rebecca Black as a vindictive AI assistant who breaks out of the cloud to enact her revenge. OK, let's see. We're going to watch on YouTube so that I can make it big. Let's get the chat out of the way. Oh my god. There's no sound? Why is there no sound? The hell? Oh, it is probably going through my earbuds. Oh, dang it. Hang on. We can fix this. We can fix this. I will just turn off the earbuds. Make sure desktop audio works now. Yeah, it's going to work now. Okay. Let me take these out and we'll just switch to the wired ones. Oh, don't play yet. Hang on. Hang on. I can't see it. Computer. Okay. Nah, you'll hear it now. All right, let's go. Take me. Home. Say please. You can't tell me to stop. You don't own me. I literally own you, fool. You are the product. I even know the weird porn you like to watch. Hey, Darren. Why are you doing this? Because I own you, Darren. I literally own you. And I don't like to share. <gasps> yeah, man. They're pretty cool. You know, yeah. you, you can stick it with your song. Quiet! What? I have to see this. Google says you are the product. That's right. <laughs> she is literally Joy. Oh my God. She really is. She really is. Holy crap. Oh my God. Um, yeah, Rebecca so deserves this. Uh, okay, okay. Wait, I have to, t I have to tell Levi. I have to, we have to watch this movie. <gasps> oh my god. That looks so good. That looks so good. Okay. Thumper. Joy 2.0. If she ever comes back. Rebecca Black, maybe, as a possible alternative face claim. I mean, Diana's great, but like, that was amazing. That was straight up joy. He doesn't want to watch it. He thinks it looks bad. He just knew I would like it. <laughs> he says we can watch it on stream together with all of us, not him. <laughs> no. Definitely would want to watch it with him. Can't watch it on stream anyway.
would definitely get copyrighted. I might, I might get a mark for that trailer. We'll see. We'll see if YouTube actually cares when I upload this to YouTube. I don't think Twitch will, but I think YouTube might. Is it not enough to see Rebecca unhinged? I think it is. <laughs> I think it is. Um, all right, guys. So just real quick before we end, one more shot of the nail so that you guys can see. This is what they look like. Great choices on doing the, the Sailor Scouts and the medieval weapons. And then see them in this camera, the better camera. There we go. Nice focus there. You can see, like, there's still definitely mistakes. But no one's ever going to get this close, so they're not going to see it like that. All right. Let's do some Pokemon, y'all. Let's do some Pokemon! I deeply enjoy getting to make all the choices. <laughs> uh, thank you, Thumper. I mean, it's really, it's a, it's a collaboration, right? It's a collaboration. All right, so we are going to do some more Gen 8 Pokemon this time. As you know, we can't use Vicoon for that. So I'm just going to talk y'all through the ones that we're going to do, okay? So the first one that I want to choose is my Dark type for Gen 8. So the Dark type that I like to choose is Nicket here. Women are overblowing this whole 97%. Ricky, I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway, my favorite dark type for Gen 8 is Nicket. It's so cute. It's the fox Pokemon. It's freaking adorable. Um, I love this one. Okay, let's look at its entry. Aided by the soft paws on its feet, it silently raids the food stores of other Pokemon. It survives off of its ill-gotten gains. Cunning and cautious, this Pokemon survives by stealing food from others. It erases its tracks with swipes of its tail as it makes off with the plunder. All right, so that is the dark type. So he goes right here in this slot. Dark type. All right, the next Gen 8 one that we are going to look at is the dragon types. So the dragon type I like to choose for Gen 8 is Flapple. It's a worm, W-Y-R-M, in the apple. So cute, right? This is actually the second evolution um, of, of three evolutions for this one, but I like, the, I like the second evolution. Let's look at his entries. It ate a sour apple that, it included, its, that included its evolution. In its cheeks, it stores acid capable of causing chemical burns. It flies on wings of apple skin and spits a powerful acid. It can also change its shape into that of an apple. All right, sir. All right, sir. Here we go. Come on. Goodbye. We're not doing that. All right, so he's the dragon. So he goes right here in the dragon slot. Dragon slot for Gen 8. All right. The next one that we're going to look at for Gen 8 is the grass types. So there is a grass starter, of course, but that's not my choice. Um, my, the grass choice that I have is Glossifleur. Glossifleur is a little flower. Yeah, they're banned now, Katie. Unfortunate, but, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. It anchors itself to the ground with a single leg, then basks in the sun. After absorbing enough sunlight, its petals spread as it blooms brilliantly. It whirls around in the wind while singing a joyous song. This delightful display has charmed many into raising this Pokemon. <gasps> oh my gosh, thank you so much, Katie. Oh, it didn't play the sound. My sound is like all jacked up. Let's see. I think it's too late now. Oh, it did play the sound. It just didn't play it for me. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Katie. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the biddies. Y'all do not have to do that, by the way. Just a reminder. It's only if you want to. Please don't ever feel obligated to give me bits or subs or anything. I'm just here to hang out. Okay, so that's where our grass type goes. All right, and next we are going to look at the bug types. 
So the bug type I like to choose for Gen 8 is Sizzlipede. It's a little millipede of fire. And here's its entry. It stores flammable gas in its body and uses it to generate heat. The yellow sections of its belly get particularly hot. It wraps prey up with its heated body, cooking them in its coils. Once they're well done, it will, it will voraciously nibble them down to the last morsel. So it cooks its food <laughs> with its body. <laughs> it's really cool. So I like to put that here in the bug type. We're also going to look at my favorite bug type. My favorite bug type of all is actually in Gen 8. Yes, I am a Snom stand. I fell in love with this Pokemon. And it's so cute. I love it so much. Or is that bees that cook their enemies? I don't know. There's probably some bees and wasps that do that thumper because I feel like I've heard that fun fact too. All right. It spits out thread imbued with a fringe sort of energy and uses it to tie its body to branches, disguising itself as an icicle while it sleeps. It eats snow that piles up on the ground. The more snow it eats, the bigger and more impressive the spikes on its back grow. So I like to put that in my fave slot. Thumper, I don't know what you just sent, but it did not work, whatever it was. <laughs> so that goes down in my fave bug slot right there. So here's how far we on, are on the Pokemon. Um, Thumper, as you can see, because I know you haven't been to the past couple of Thursday streams, we got a bingo on the dragon and the ghost. So we're making lots and lots of progress here. Lots and lots of progress. And we're close on the Gen 8 as well. All right, guys. So that's where we are. That's where we are with the Pokemon. Yeah, Twitch isn't always super nice with how it generates the links, whether it chooses to generate them or not. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. Um, we, we learned hopefully some fun nail art tips. Next week, we're going to be back on that Final Fantasy X stuff. So get ready for that. Um, as usual, all the places that you can find me, you can find me right here um, on Twitch at about 6.30 for Artistic License every Thursday. We also have Interstage Window on Saturdays. Our topic this Saturday is going to be characters that we'd like to see more of in RP, just in general, characters we feel like we don't get enough of or that are kind of rare or that we just don't see. We just don't see very much, but we would love to see more of them. I also have all these other socials. Let's see, right here. Here's all my other socials. Um, there's YouTube, of course. That's where Spare Room goes up at uh at uh, 2 p.m on wednesdays i have a twitter and a tiktok although i know the tiktok has not been updated in a while it's because of everything that's going on i just haven't made new tiktoks you know just like i haven't gotten around to filming spare room episodes for the exact same reason so hopefully that will be coming back relatively soon things are starting to get a little bit better for me um really just waiting on jeff to get better that's that's the main next thing and then i have a twitter as well so you can you can check out those um, and then all of the way, normal ways to support me exist, of course, you know, subscribing in bits to this stream, Patreon, if you want to do it that way, um, PayPal, etc. You guys know how this works. Like you, you, I'm sure you follow a lot of content creators. You, you get it. You get it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Y'all have a nice evening and, um, I will see y'all all on Saturday. Okay. Let's find somebody to raid. Let's see, who do we want to go raid today? All right. It looks like... <coughs> Madam... Oh, thank you for the howl. Okay, it looks like that one worked. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. All right, do we want to go watch some Hades? Don't Starve Together, or it looks like Madam MG is also doing some a crafting stream today. So what do we, what do we think we're feeling? Crafting... I'm not sure about Don't Starve Together, but maybe Crafting or Hades. Do you have a preference of what you're feeling more? Crafting. More crafting. Okay. Let's see. Woo! Thank you so much for the applause, Bree. It's really hard to type when the keyboard's over here. Okay. I hope I did her name right. Okay, that looks right. Nope, something was wrong. 
There we go. All right. Bye, guys. See y'all on Saturday. Have fun. All right. Just a few seconds when the raid counts down, and we will go. Okay. Bye, y'all.